guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. It's another day in Australia. I'm just having my coffee and I'm going to have some brunch now, which is just some corn soup that was left over. So I thought I'd vlog today because I'm going out with my sister in a bit and we are going to go back to my parents' place and then we're going to go out with Yuki and take it out for a walk. So I actually vlogged yesterday, but I decided to delete that vlog because I don't know, something about it when I was editing, the lighting was terrible. Um, nothing was working out for me so then I decided to just vlog today instead so yesterday's video I actually talked about something that I want to um, tell you guys so yesterday I received a box from Japan Post which is stuff that I shipped back myself when I left Japan like a few days ago so a lot of people were asking me because you see my vlogs I was shopping a lot and then people were asking me how I bought everything back to Australia so I did not bring everything back in one go I had to ship stuff prior to leaving Japan so I've always done this because every time I go to Japan I do buy a lot of things and because of that I can't fit it all into my suitcase so ever since the first time I went to Japan like I don't know back in 2011 every single year I go back to Japan I have to ship back at least one box of stuff if I don't my bag would be like I don't know 50 kilos or something like that so anyway to ship stuff back it's really easy and there are different options so I guess I can briefly tell you guys the options. I usually go to Japan Post so you just go to any post office to ship stuff back. Now you can bring your own box or buy a box there. I usually just buy a box there because they give you tape and you can just pack your box in the post office which is really handy. For the post office locations I mean I just look on Google map and then you just type in post office and then it will tell you where the post offices are and just go to the one closest to you. It doesn't matter if it's a big or small one they will ship stuff for you so usually what I would do is I would find the closest post office and I would bring my stuff in like big bags and then I go to the post office and then I would buy a box now for the boxes you can choose different sizes I usually go to biggest box in regards to shipping prices it really depends on where you are shipping to so I always ship to Australia because that's where I live so I guess I'm talking from my past experiences it might be cheaper to ship to the US um, somewhere in Asia but um, I'm just talking from my past experiences like I said so there are different ways to ship and you can check the prices beforehand you can go to the official Japan Post website or just search on Google the most expensive one is EMS and I use that sometimes so if I want items to arrive within five days I will ship by EMS and you can track your items as well so I actually shipped one box back uh, using EMS and it was about eight kilos or nine kilos and I paid about hundred and forty dollars to ship that box back but but I did receive it yesterday and I only just came back to Australia like two days ago so I received it literally the next day after I came back and I shipped that box last Friday so it arrived very quickly but like I said it was nine kilos and it did cost a hundred and forty dollars so it is quite expensive so if you guys want your items in a hurry and you don't mind paying then EMS is an option there are other options such as airmail or um, I I'm not too sure but registered airmail I haven't used those before because I find that if you're gonna ship by airmail you might as well just ship by EMS because you get the tracking number and it's very quick sometimes EMS is even cheaper than airmail even though airmail I think usually it takes about one to two weeks to receive the items now the cheapest option which is what I use most of the time is called surface now surface you do have to wait a long time for your items usually it's about one to two months in my past experiences usually it takes about one and a half to two months to receive the item usually I use this option because it is the cheapest to ship back so my first trip to Japan I bought like a whole bunch of manga and you know books are heavy so I shipped back the whole box um I think I ship back like 10 kilos worth of stuff and it was like 7,000 yen to ship back which is about $70 usually when I travel to Japan I like buying a lot of new things and you want to keep the new things right so I ship back the old items like my old shoes my clothes etc stuff that I bought from Australia to Japan even though I have to wait two months to get the items I don't really care because it's all like old stuff anyway when I lived in Japan and when I was moving back to Australia I ship back like 10 boxes worth of stuff because in one year in Japan you accumulate a lot of stuff. I always ship back around 6 to 10 kilos worth of stuff. The prices range between 5,000 to 8,000 yen so around 50 to 80 bucks. Um, this time around though I did ship back two boxes by surface and I shipped one big box it was like 9 kilos that cost me 6,000 7,000 yen so 60 70 dollars and then I also shipped a smaller box which was um, 
I believe four or five kilos and that was maybe 3,000 yen I believe so $30 but if you guys are interested to find out the prices for your own country just search up on Google um, Japan post surface rates shipping rates something like that and it will come up so I shipped back a whole box of stuff which is nine kilos worth of stuff just because I want to film some Japan hauls when I came back to Australia and I haven't done that yet I'm going to start tomorrow but it came very quickly and I'm very happy with the service mainly I shipped back the Fukubu crawls I know I want to wear straight away most of my other Fukubu crawls like my Pokemon Fukubu crawls I shipped back and also my Ingo and Wego ones so those ones I am not really looking to use them in a rush and most most of the stuff I'm gonna give away to friends so that's why I'm just gonna ship them back by sea and also by the time they arrive it will kind of be like winter in Australia because our seasons are opposite right now it's summer in Australia so most of the stuff that I got in Fuku Bukuro they're like winter stuff anyway so I can't even wear them but anyway I'm gonna quickly eat right now and then um, clean up a little bit and then my sister is going to come to my place to pick me up so yeah I'll see you guys in a bit Yuki! Hi! 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 Hi girl! Hi! Hi girl! Hi! Yuki! How are you? Hi, it's nice to see you again! Back home to pick up Yuki and then now we're gonna go to the park! Yeah? Yuki, you gonna go to the park? Do you wanna go for a walk? I think she's a bit tired. Are you tired? <laughs> you tired? All right, so we're back at my parents now. We're just gonna um, try and connect the switch up to our big TV and see if the karaoke machine works. You good girl. Who's a good girl? Yuki's a good girl. We have a squirtle. <laughs> Did I show you that video of like all the squirtle, yeah. like, squirtle people? Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, 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 here. There you go, I'm sorry. She's so sad. Squirtle! <laughs> There's a squirtle! <laughs> Faye, this is for you. Because Faye got her this costume. She got an Eevee now. <laughs> she, she hates it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so tired right now. Everyone's like playing with her. Now she just wants to sleep. Can you give me a hand? Thank you. You want a tummy rub? Oh, I love you. Alright guys, I stopped vlogging because my parents came back and we were just like playing around with the karaoke machine. So actually my parents are going to come over to my place tomorrow to help set up the karaoke so we can finally have karaoke in our house. We're going to go get dinner now because I was going to cook but it's like 8 o'clock. So we're all going to go out to dinner, the family and Eric as well. So we're going to wait for Eric to get into the car and then we're going to go to dinner at Papa Rich. Alright guys, I'm now back at home. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tomorrow I don't think I'm going to vlog just because my sister's going to come over to my place. And then my parents are going to come by later and um, I'm going to be cooking dinner for everyone. So I feel that like I'll be too stressed out tomorrow to um, vlog. Thank you so much guys once again for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.